1K prop hit, no parlays, no home run props. Not the ideal start after a week off, but that's okay. We're back. 12 games tonight. We're going to pick it back up right here on the Fantasy Firebox. Tony Cotillo right at you with some more action. And right off the bat, we're going to attack with the value arm of Chris Paddock for the Minnesota Twins. Yes, against the New York Yankees, who are very powerful. He's at 6,500. Four wins in a row. Two of four, 10K games. Three of four, 27 plus DK games. And a 93 average pitch count this is the kind of pitcher that you want even if he doesn't get the win he's going to give you that high total so let's lock him in at 6500 how about some value bats i love brent rooker didn't hit us a home run last night but that's okay at 4200 for the oakland a's he's been red hot four or five games he's hit safely four or five games with two plus hits four or five games with 12 plus dk points what else do you need now let's go to joe adele for the los angeles angels and what he's been able to do in play of Mike Trout has been great and he's continued to roll listen minus the last two games he had four games in a row at 11 plus DK and guess what I am not afraid of Sonny Gray he isn't scary six earned runs his last start a 3.71 ERA on the road oh and by the way Joe Adele his OPS is over a thousand at home now let's get to FFVP I've only seen one I'm sorry can't give you two tonight but this kid he's been red hot ever since his call up and that's Tyler Sonny from the Oakland A's to the tune of hitting safely in four games since being called up. Doubles, RBIs, home runs, 375 average. Oh, and by the way, he's facing Ronel Blanco who gives up everything from doubles to home runs to walks, you name it. So this looks like a good spot for him at 2,200. Now on to some home run props. Marcel Ozuna versus James Talion. I'm telling you right now, Ozuna is due. Talion throws hard. He throws fast. He throws flat. You know how I love it. I am all in on Ozuna tonight. And then I'm going to go right back to the well again. Brent Rooker, I know he didn't hit one last night, but he continues to be red hot like I talked about. And Ronel Blanco gives up home runs in his last four out of five starts. He has been hit hard, even with a 2.23 RA. So I love that play. And then let's go to one of the guys who's been leading New York Yankees and Juan Soto against Chris Paddock. I know he was our value pitcher, but again, five home runs in five starts. Slightly better on the road when it comes to Soto as well. So lock him in. Now let's get to some SGPXs. How about the K props? We're going really light on both of these parlays because I want to hit, okay? We're only talking four legs tonight. We're going to start off with Ben Lively over three and a half Ks. We're going to go Sonny Gray to the alt line at six plus Ks. Remember, we did this with Zach Eflin. It didn't hit, but we also did it with Brady Singer and it did hit. So Sonny Gray at six plus alternate Ks. Hunter Green over five and a half and Logan Gilbert at over five and a half. That's going to give you a plus five, seven, one. That number is strictly from FanDuel. If you go to our MLB prop back, better page you'll be able to get the best line at the time you put the bet in and then we're going to go hrr hits plus runs plus rbis another only four legger but a very very attainable bet let's go tyler soderstrom like i told you at over 0.5 let's go joe adele like i told you at 0.5 let's go to dylan moore at 0.5 and let's finish it up with michael taylor of the pirates at 0.5 that's going to give you a plus 553 and that is only on DraftKings. listen tonight's the we get back on track tonight tonight we hit i want to see the tickets when they cash everybody have a great night don't forget to sign up windailysports.com right now if you don't have a membership make sure you use that reference code to hook me up right in my description if not hit me up in discord get me at twitter at fantasy firebox or at rise with tony and i look forward to hearing about all the wins